Well, we've been talking about flattening the curve and slowing the influx of severely ill patients, but hospitals here in, Mich in southeast Michigan continue to be overwhelmed. Everyone is asking, how long can we live like this? How long can we expect this to go on? Dr. Frank New George here with some sobering forecasts on that. Frank? Yeah, Devin and Kim. So here's the thing. Let me start out by prefacing all of this with the fact that our ability to model the trajectory of this pandemic is based on what we've seen in other countries, as well as a number of assumptions, meaning it is a prediction. And just like weather forecasts, things can change, hopefully for the better in this case. Now, this is not meant to be precise. I'm just using very rough estimates. But let's start out by looking at what happened in China. Their COVID-19 case reports started picking up mid-January. So we'll start their graph here. Now, by mid-February, about four weeks later, their cases peaked. So it looks like this. And since then, about another four weeks later, they have steadily decreased. So this is the curve of what China went through. Now let's consider Italy. Their cases actually started picking up roughly the end of February. That's about here. Now, about four weeks later, their cases are above China's count. So this is their trajectory. Now, here in the U.S., cases started picking up after the first week of March. And about three weeks later, we are now here, right where Italy is. And remember, this is total cases. And obviously, we have way more people than in Italy. Now, this is all the no man's land of prediction. We know how long the U.S. curve, we know how long the U.S. curve um, might go, but the problem is we don't really know whether the trajectory is going to continue on like this or whether we're going to have a steady decrease. The big picture is at this point in time, we may see another three weeks of increase and then eventually, just like in China, about a one month decrease. So that puts us at minimum about six weeks out before we are out of the point of an increase and peak somewhere out here and then a significant decrease. So altogether, we're looking at probably three weeks to peak and then another month or so before we come out with some kind of recovery. And that, of course, is assuming that we follow China's curve. I also want to add, of course, the United States is very different. Every state is going to have its own curve. So here in Michigan, although the numbers are very low, we started about here and the numbers look like this, where we're just starting to have a little pickup. But ultimately, we don't know whether this is going to continue to go up, whether this is going to flatten, or whether this is or how far out it's going to go. So there's a lot of unknowns in this no man's land out here. But this is the projection. And if you look at what happened in China, we are already high and we already have a long way to go before we start to see a plateau. All right, Doc, and that's why it was so sobering last night when Governor Whitmer said we are nowhere near the right. apex of our curve yeah, just yeah, yet. Indeed. Yeah.